Welcome everybody. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I'm today I thought maybe it's important to talk about the copyright concerns. Um, Ed Sheeran was just sued um, and a whole bunch of other musicians have been sued over this recently because it's a serious crime to steal other people's materials and um, and sounds. So it is important to go back into the beginnings of how um, how music works and the theories behind it to be able to understand to get to a stage where you can actually create your own music. That's the point I'm trying to get to. Just because I, you know, people like myself and other people have practiced and used other people's music to teach doesn't mean to say you can reuse other people's music and then re-upload and then um, promote it as your own. It's just not, it's not going to happen. That's just not how it works and you will get sued massively. So going back to the subject of what I had spoken about from day one is how technology gets becomes a very big part of composing and reconstruction. And, you know, as you know, Mozart was a composer and I'm sure if he was living in the modern day technology world, he would be a producer. So the terminology of what would have happened for individuals during a certain time period would be different for the terminology that we have now. So before they were just composers, um, um, composers. Now it's composer, composers have become the producers and there are many, 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 many producers out there in the world. Fewer women produce, however, but, but there is still a vast majority of producers. Um, yeah, and there are more things you can do. You don't need just an orchestra to be in the room to record. You can do it, but I work from my own studio, my home studio, which is in my own space, um, and that's that's the thing. That's the whole point. You can do it with minimal amounts of supplies, um, but you need to understand the maximum amount of music theory and music understanding to get to the stage of composing songs. I mean, I'm 43 now, so it took me. I was young when I composed. I was I was like all of like five maybe when I was composing my own things and being insp inspired by other musicians like songs and there was no thing like technology that we have today. It just didn't exist. Now it's like very very vast and many many people can actually have the access to make this work. Um, hence the reason why the more value there is being your own individual composed composer and reconstructing or creating not reconstructing creating your own music with without understanding the basics you will never get to this point you must you must understand the basics of something okay so i'm going to just play you this is something i'd recorded on my own which is one of my other tracks um i'm going to play it as is before i um actually put it um have you listened to it in how I reconstructed my own piece, not no, nobody else's, my own piece, and added it into technology. Okay, so it starts like this. <laughs> From that, I simplified it, and we got something like this um, for basic chords, and you can play around with vocals and all that stuff. Okay, I added the beat, of course, the drums, and there are other layers to it. I think that was a loop. That's a drum loop with three different layers. So I'm just using the chords. And then you have to start getting into this, the, the idea of mixing and mastering once you have vocals down and you have more layers that you need. Um, my plan is to redo the songs that I had done on equipment that wasn't as, as good and rebuild my, my album. I published, I had done an album a couple of times, but it was always on equipment that was never 
up to par. So now I finally have all this stuff that can be done like this. Many, many more things I can add to this. But this is a work in progress. And people, if somebody steals this from me, I could take them to court. That's basically how it works with copyright infringement. Okay. And there are some other pieces. I'm just giving you guys an example of um, tracks that I've worked on. Um, and it took me a long time, make no mistake, composing a song. I don't know if anybody tells you, composing a song doesn't take three days or four days. It could take three years to come up with an idea. This took me many, many years to visualize and analyze and decide, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. It takes people, it's like a painting. You can't just say Monet, painted an oil painting that took three days. No, Monet took maybe even six years to complete one oil painting. The same thing applies for a song. It might take you six years to come up with one song. It's just how it is. Or you can come up with one brilliant idea like Duchamp did, who was like the Dada era artist that put a, a male urinal in a gallery space and called it art. Um, but it's not like that. It's like, it's totally, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it, it doesn't. It doesn't just happen overnight. Composing a piece of music takes time. It takes time to, to develop into a musician you become. It takes time to visualize your ideas. It takes time to identify who you become, who you will be, what your vision is in music. Um, it doesn't take five seconds to come up with a song. Sorry to tell you guys, it actually takes a while to manifest a vision. So yeah, as, as I was saying, going back to the whole thing of copyright infringement and making sure that it belongs to you and you alone, unless you're working with the group and the group splits up the vision and says, okay, this part I came up with, this part the drummer came up with, this part the bassist came up with, and this part the vocalist came up with, then you can split it up and say, okay, now we have a track, it's successful, we've uploaded it, we haven't had any issues, that's another thing. If you upload a track that's not yours, that it will be banned. Like, you will be blocked from all platforms. Um, they will recognize the piece that you try to recopy or readjust. It's just not going to work like that. Always best to be your own musician, come up with your own vision, and make your own music, or you could cause ripples in your life and then give headaches to everybody else. So it's just a, this today was just a brief thing on this. I thought maybe it's a good thing to touch up on the copyright infringement because the Ed Sheeran situation and um, there are some, some other musicians that have gone into a lot of trouble. It might not even been their fault. It might have just been an accidental almost sounds like what the song sounds like, but doesn't really sound like the other person's piece. But it does, but it doesn't. So there's always those complications and being authentic and being even more unique. Try to push the boundaries of music once you are at the level of understanding composition. Push the boundaries. Don't do what everybody else does. Try to be your own individual. Be be out of the box. Don't be in the box. Never be in the box. Who wants to be boring and in the box? Stand out of the crowd. That's how it goes. Anyway, that's my small discussion today. Try to be unique. Don't copy, don't use other people's music and try to work on your own stuff once you reach a certain level and understand what composition is about. Okay, and hopefully I'll speak to you guys soon and please like and subscribe and hope you enjoyed today's brief discussion on copyright infringement. I'll have to just remind everybody about this once in a while. It's, it's good to kind of go back to this because all these lawsuits are a big issue. Um, thanks for coming back. Please um, like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next one.